Speaking of driving, you got to get your lead foot off the gas in parts of Hillsborough County this morning. Starting today, there are new changes you need to know about, especially if you are driving in the university area. The sheriff's office is dropping the speed limit by 10 miles an hour. This is on 56th Street between Fowler Avenue and Fletcher Avenue. And that's where we find Brightside's Sarah Rosario. And Sarah, this is an area that's no stranger to accidents. That's right, Katie. We have covered several accidents here in the university area, especially over the last couple of months as well. You know, this is an area that you mentioned is no stranger to people speeding, and that's why the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is taking a more aggressive approach to try to slow these drivers down. If you take a look behind me, you see that speed limit sign says 50 miles per hour. Well, starting today, there are going to be other signs up letting drivers know that this speed limit will change from 50 miles an hour to 40 miles per hour, and it's all part of a massive of initiative that the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office has put in place just since about two months ago to try to get more safety measures here for pedestrians and for bicyclists. It comes after the Sheriff's Office started this initiative two months ago when a national research organization ranks Tampa Bay among the most dangerous places for pedestrians in the country. Now deputies are spending three days a week on foot enforcing the speed limit and educating drivers about pedestrian safety. Here, our goal is not out here to just write a bunch of citations. Uh, that's quite expensive and that's, that's not our priority. Uh, there's going to be cases where that's certainly going to play a part, but the goal here is education, to change a pattern of unsafe behavior. Well, you may remember this is also the same area where a speeding undercover deputy hit and killed 15 year old Josiah Pinner back in January, who we're told was not in a crosswalk when that crash happened. Just this week, the department and the state attorney's office announced the deputy will not face any charges. The sheriff's office is calling this accident a tragedy. And back to the new safety changes here in the university area. Drivers going by more than 40 miles an hour will get a pass until that speed limit sign changes behind me. Again, there will be other signs out here pretty soon warning drivers about the change that will go into effect in just about two weeks, guys.